Hello students and welcome back again to the Metaphysics College Online Study Portal. Well, this is one of the most entertaining digital study portal in which we study physics or various subjects related to your PG or UG courses with a new concept and enhancing your learning from basics to advanced. So, this is basically the topic here that uh, we are subjected to for the previous lecture, if you remember, that we left you with the definition of work. And uh, now, for this lecture, we are simply to define the concept of power also. Well, uh, I would like to give you a recap about that what is work that we have been discussing for the last time. For the last time, we end up with an integration saying for that is what the work is. Work is in terms of force with desired results. In terms, when you, uh, I think that you know the concept very well, that what is a force? You remember that force can be defined as a push or pull. And for the push and pull, when the push or pull is being done, then work is said to be done. Okay? In terms of this, we said that the work that is represented by W is being said that, let's say we are displacing any object from point A to point B, if you remember the thing here. Uh, from point A to point B, when any object has been displaced, then we took a framework, a point somewhat here, let's say uh, for this point, and we got an, another observation point that is a point O, and for this point, let's say this is a position where we are here, and we thought that this particular distance is small dr, and uh, this is the direction of force that has been applied and let's say these are making an angle theta. Okay, this is all what we assumed for the previous lecture. Uh, I hope that you know these things and uh, we do not go in detail to talk about these things anymore. Okay, this is something just to keep it in mind. Okay, I hope that you remember this. So let's uh, come up here with the expression that is saying that W is equal to integration from A to B and that has been said that the F cosine of theta with d theta. Okay? F cosine of theta dr. Okay? Well, uh, cosine theta has been introduced just because uh, this is the scalar product of force L and the, and the displacement which is been said to be the dr vector here. Okay? Uh, this is the scalar product of this particular quantity and this one. Okay? But both of these are very quantities, so we end up having the f cosine theta and the dr. Okay, this is what we end up with. When we keep on solving these things, let's say uh, these are saying about uh, we end up having w is equal to for the previous uh, expression, we end up having w is equal to let's say the displacement has been said to be the r2 vector to the r1 vector. Uh, so it from the R1 to R2 vector. Yes. So from R1 to R2 vector, and there is been said that F vector dot dr vector, and we wrote it in the terms saying that W is equal to again the term integration and solving all this we end up having this is the F vector though R2 vector minus R1. You can remember that R1 vector is the distance from point A that has been said R1 vector and R2 vector is the distance from point B that has been said uh, R2 vector here. Uh, these are the displacement from this uh, point of observation. I hope that you remember all these things. Okay, so uh, proceeding with the expression here. Is the expression of work on W, we end up having the F dot R2 vector minus R2 vector. And for our uh, simplicity, we take only the tangential component of force. Let us say, taking only the tangential component. Of force into 
transformation. Okay, that is the result happens. Uh, we just taking only the tangential components here. So, what if we are taking only the tangential component? The verb that the is being said in terms of tangential component that is being said there. Integration from point A to point B. Okay. The tangential component that has been said, uh, let us say that is the Ft here. Okay. Uh, this has been said here. The Ft dot dr. Okay. Uh, we are subjected to get our results within using this equation. Okay. So uh, keep this equation in mind and let's proceed and uh, keep this figure also in mind that has been said that from point A to this point B an object is moving and being trapped at this position and we are subjected to calculate our observation from this point uh, using this observation point over here. Okay, uh, let's move to the next slide and we will talk about this in brief. Okay, so uh, let's get in all the cases here. For the very clear description, if you remember that we have considered something uh, saying that the case, the case first. So if you remember the tangential component that has been said, the F T is been said as so F cosine of theta. Yes, uh, this has been said as the F cosine of uh, theta there. Because uh, cosine is again the tangential component here. Okay. Uh, we are subjected to come up with this component only. So that is been said as the f cosine of theta. Yes, this is the tangential component of this. So we have taken this into consideration. So uh, how does the work done can be said by using this consideration, taking this into our consideration? If you remember that, we have been said that a work is a Scalar quantity Although its expression consists of uh, two vector quantities but it is again a scalar quantity just because uh, because the vectors f vector and dr vector holds a scalar product for each and that's why the work done will become a scalar quantity here Ok, so this is all happens here So we will just take this thing into consideration and replace all the things with the previous expression with this expression and let's find out then what we will have we will uh, certainly use this expression also so for the first case if the theta is equal to 0 degree the first case is said that if theta is equal to 90 degree sorry if theta is equal to 90 degree then your cos of theta will approach to 0 here this is all happens here. Okay. If theta is equal to 90 degree, then what will happen? Our cosine of theta will approach to 0. And what will become in this case? In this case, your work done W will again approach to 0. This will happen with the work here. So it has been said that if the tangential component If the tangential component is being applied perpendicular is being applied, uh, not just perpendicular is not exact term, but we can say that applied normally, then no work is called to be done. Then no work is supposed to be done. Okay, uh, so this is all happened. We are subjected to take into consideration that when the tangential component is applied normally, then no work is done. Okay, then there will be no work exists. So this is the first case here. Uh, you can consider it by using an example of, uh, let me give you an example here. You consider that if something is being placed over, uh, like somewhat here, 
this is the plane and this is a massive object of mass n and uh, if you are applying forces in this particular direction then there will be, this is rigid at this position if it is rigid then you can say that your work done will be zero in this case your work done w will be zero okay this is the first case that is supposed to be taken into consideration and i hope that you go to case first uh, now uh, let's move to the next slide and talk about another cases okay so we are going to the next slide let's talk about the case second here so let's find out what does the case second say in this case we say that if there is no displacement of the body then no work will be done okay it has been said that if there is no displacement if there is no displacement then then no work will be done the no work will be done well this is again and most amazing example that i can talk to you but this example is about something that if you consider if you remember the previous video in that video we taken into consideration something like they are saying as if there is any person who is carrying some weight over his head whatever it is uh, we not supposed to be taken into consideration if this person is carrying something onto his head and if he got a displacement from one point to another let us say uh, initially he was at this position and after some time it uh, gets another position so what we have within the same weight over his head then according to this case what it is been said that uh, it is been said that in this case there is no work or in sense you can say that the will be equals to zero so what should be assumed by this person according to this person the thing happens is he can say that according to him work would not be zero because he has done something and if you say that no your work is no longer exists you are saying that the work is equal to zero here so we got some question marks over here head well uh, don't worry we do not go into these question marks we have answers in terms of physics here what actually happening in this case the thing that happening is the person is subjected to carry a weight from one position to another the person is displacing yes for this person if we take into consideration about the person about the person and his perspective work is done okay he showed me right the work is been done about the person the work is done here yeah. but according to the perspective of this bucket here according to the what about the what about the goods he is carrying according to this perspective there is no displacement so you can see that there will be no 
or you can say that because goods were initially on his head and finally the goods were again on his head so according to the perspective of goods uh, there is no work is done okay this can be said that there is no displacement according to the goods so you can say that there is no work is being done here okay i hope that you got the questions uh, you got your answers about this question and now i hope that this person is no longer explanatory but he got his answers okay uh, so now let's move to the next slide and talk about another case i hope that you got the concept of these cases and if you got this then consider like this video yourself because your like appreciates us okay okay so now let's move to the next slide and let's find out what is it so we are on the next slide here and let's talk about the case third for this case we take the large number of forces okay uh well this is the case third here let's talk about what is waiting for us in this case in this case if there is very large number of forces let us say if there is forces like there is the f1 in the f2 and then some more it is f3 and keeps on increasing some more it is f4 like something let us say that if there is a number of forces so this is not subject to be f4 let us say this is f3 okay so we got a number of forces here so uh, there are some little cases within these forces uh, you can say that either all these forces acting in the same direction or for the same purpose or maybe these forces these all forces may have different purposes or in sense you can say that maybe these forces have different direction but uh, we do not going to consider these cases here yeah? we will not talk about this case we will just take into consideration only this one case okay because we do not want to go through the complications because complications lead us with no results in general in this case this Okay, so what if uh, there are a number of forces? So how will you define the total work? Well, uh, before defining the total work, let us say what would be the total force there? What would be the total force? Let's say uh, this is the F vector, is the total force, and you can say that it will be given as F1 vector. This is the F2 vector. Then this is what F3 vector, and in this case, I use a key from going. and you will end up having something like as the fn okay uh, this is the total force okay so we got the total force here this is the f vector okay so we got the total force so if you got the total force then you can say that uh, you will have a total volume also so what should be the total volume the volume is given by w and that is equals to integration Are uh, displacing from point A to another point that is been said the point B there, okay? From point A to point B, and uh, it is been said that that is equals to the F vector dot B R vector, where F vector is the total force and B R vector giving you some sort of distance like that, uh, uh, some little distance. So our other reference, okay, that is F vector dot D R vector. And this is again equals to integration from point A to B, okay? Let us say what is the value of f vector here? We got the value of f vector from this equation here. So let's put this value here. It has been said that f one vector plus f two vector plus f three vector keep on going f one vector dot d r. Okay, we got all the values here. Okay, so we got all the values. And now W will be equals to 
integration from point A to B. Let us say that is F1 vector dot dr at the integration from point A to B. F2 vector dot dr vector plus again integration point A to B. And same scenario, let us say this is the F3 vector dot dr vector and so on. We just take into consideration about this much of this. Okay, uh, let's say there are three forces only, and for that case, let's find out the total power. So let's find out what would be the total power. I hope that we need some more workspace. So let's. Uh, this is the total power. So you can see that uh, these are the works here. Well, we need some workspace. So let's move to the next slide here. So now, what would be the value of work power? That has been said that someone saying that W two. W2, W3 plus so on, you can say W2. So the total work can be said as the sum of all the work components all along the way. Okay, it can be said that the total work done by these forces is always equal to the sum of work done by individual forces. The total work done. Is equal to the sum of work done. Is equal to the sum of by individual force. Okay. So this is the total work done. I hope that you got the concept. The concept that has been associated with in this case. So the total work done by the individual forces. Okay. So we got the individual work done here. This is the W one, and this is W two. This is W three. And in this scenario, we got up to the W n, and that will be equal to the total work done W n. Okay. I hope that you got this case pretty much well. Let's move to the other case in which we talk about the vector form of force here. Let us say move to the case four. I hope that we can complete this one from this particular slide, and then we will move to the other one. Okay. In this case, it has been said that the total force that has been said the F vector. We got the components of forces here. Let's say the I cap, F of x, J cap. F of y plus k k f of z. We got these components of forces. Also for displacement. Also displacement that has been said to be the dr vector. And let us say this dr vector is equals to i k d x plus j k d y plus k k d z. Okay. So now what will be the work done by that? Now the work done. That will be said to be W. That is equal to integration from point A to B. We are assuming the same case here. From point A to B, and that is equal to F vector to dr vector. So we just put the values of F vector and dr vector here, and let us say what we find out. So now W will be equal to integration. From point A to B, and this F vector also is like as I cap F of x 
uh, the force will be equal to the force that is been said to be F. Okay, the force F will be equal to minus K X. Well, X is the direction in which the spring is being stretched or the displacement or the distance, you can say that. And K here is the spring constant. Okay. Here the K is spring constant only. Spring constant into this X is the displacement. Okay, I hope that you work this concept. Okay. Uh, this is the simple concept. Uh, you will study this concept into D when we will talk about the uh, mechanics of uh, pendulum or the mechanics of spring. We will talk about the conservative and non-conservative forces in brief, and then we will talk about this concept uh, pretty much well. Okay. So what does against the restoring force? Well, uh, somewhat, some restoring force is acting here. And you are stretching the spring, then you are subjected to do to do some work to stretch this spring here. So work done. So either you can say that work done is stretching the spring, or you can say that work done against against the Restoring forces. That is been said to be W here. Okay, this is W here. And W will be equals to F dot dx. That's the initial there is not displacement and by applying for the displacement is said to be the small x here. And that's been said F vector dot dx. Okay, well, we are not using the vector symbol here because vectors will lead us some complications. This is the f dx here, and for this f dx, f vector dot dx vector here, sorry, I miss something. From 0 to position x, somewhere here, minus kx dx and solving all this what we end up with we end up having minus k is a constant from position 0 to x the integration is been taken for the x only and for the x dx and we need again some work space so move to the next slide so the work in w will be equals to minus k outside from position 0 to x well, uh, we have solved something here. That is x dx, we take an illustration, that is equal to minus k. And so in the integration for x square by 2 is the values from 0 to x. And we end up having minus half k so square, or you can say that the negative half of k x so square. This is the total value. Well, uh, this is for the case when the spring is stretched from its uh, initial position to some displacement x. Okay, from its initial position to some displacement x. But what if the spring is being stretched for its uh, displacement from x1 to x2? Spring stretches from x1 to x2 by a force, then the work done against the restoring force is given by. If the spring stretches from if the spring stretches from position x1 to x2, then burden against the restoring force. Then work done against the restoring forces 
is given by so the work done is been said to be W again using the formula for the x1 to x2 and this is the f dx here and this is equals to from x1 to x2 minus ax dx and this time the work done w will be equals to minus a x square over 2 having the limits from x1 to x2 and by applying these limits we will have the work done w is equals to minus a x square x2 square minus x1 square okay so this will be the total work done now yes uh, this is the work done here i hope that you got this concept also well uh, the work done uh, you know that the work done will get a unit of joule here either you mention it or you need not to mention some more but in the electrical case this unit will be in watt uh, not in joule and you can use the joule as well there is no restriction or is in joule only i hope that these things are now uh, seems easier for you because we are going to stretch it from the position x1 to x2 and then we are going to get the work done against the historic bus every time when we talk about the work done we will talk about the work done against the historic bus in the reason said that w is given in this way I hope that uh, this lecture is beneficial for you because in this lecture we talk about some literal concept into details and for details you know that details need time so that's why this lecture is going pretty much larger than usual okay I hope that you got the concept and if you got the concept then you know that what you are supposed to do uh, you just uh, ask to give us a thumbs up. Uh, as an appreciation, because your appreciation matters us. When you appreciate, then we think that our content is useful for you, and we will try to provide you more vast and more entertaining content using these smart classes. Okay, and uh, if you are new here, then consider to uh, subscribe the channel and uh, press the bell icon also, so that you will never miss another update. And uh, thank you very much again for watching this video. Have a great day, happy learning and this is the Metaphysics College Online Study Portal signing off.